guys, I'm Faith History. Thanks for joining me on today's Everything Digital show, the show where we take you deeper into your online journey right here in Nigeria. On Inside Live, we're going to be checking out some videos from social media and on As Seen on Twitter, we're going to be checking out what's happening on that platform. And as well, we've also got our list for the day. So now today, I'm going to be showing you five movies that every digital entrepreneur should see. So a quick look at what's happening inside live today. Today it is a trailer hmm, for the movie, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. A story about 13 year old boy who built a windmill to save his village from famine. This movie addressed education and entrepreneurship, you know, technology, science. All right then, let's take a look at the trailer. How does it feel, William? I never went to secondary school. Make us proud. Hey, <laughs> looking sharp, eh? You too, man. <laughs> Kachukolo is not the wealthiest school in the district, but it's down to each one of you to decide your own level of commitment. Commitment! The rains came late this year, and now the trees have gone. Malawi is preparing for a very long, hungry season. What are you going to do? Anything new? It's a pump. Can you fix it? Maybe. Mr. Kachigunda, when you turn the wheel on your bike, the light shines. How? It's magnets. I can bring water. I know how to do it. We stay, we die. No! With electricity, we can plant in the dry season. And to a was Baba. Come on! That was nice. I saw that movie actually on Netflix and I loved it. Loved it, loved it. If you guys didn't know, it was actually directed. It was uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor's directorial debut. And Guess what? Who's Nigerian? So let's get right into our list of other movies that you guys should be checking out. If you want to get into entrepreneurship, tech entrepreneurship, digital entrepreneurship. Number five, startup.com. This was made in 2001. It's focused on a real life startup called GovWorks, right? It's a group of young internet entrepreneurs who are seeking to raise capital in New York's Silicon Valley. Did New York have a Silicon Valley? Mm, I don't even know. Anyway, although the startup did not survive, it became a reference for lessons learned. So if you're a startup or you're trying to be a startup, it's sort of a place to know, you know, just that vibe, like how to be, what to look for, where to pitch, you know, it's a good reference. All right, number four, The Founder. This was made more recently in 2017. It's a true story of how Ray Kroc, a struggling salesman from Illinois, met Mac and McDonald's, who were running a burger operation in South Carolina. Now, Kroc was so impressed by the brother's speedy system of making the food, and he saw franchise potential. So Kroc then maneuvered himself into a position to be able to pull the company from the brothers and create a multi-billion dollar empire. Oh, such a great movie. Coming up next, number three, The Social Network. Now, this movie is a little bit old from 2010, and it's a movie about, yes, that face and that book. Harvard 
undergrad and computer genius Mark Zuckerberg. He began work on a concept and that finally turns into, you know, what we all know as Facebook. Movies based on a book, The Accidental Billionaires. I know there was some controversy with Mark Zuckerberg not so happy because of the whole, you know, you stole this idea from, you know, your mates, your schoolmates and friends, and then, you know, shafted them, but they made millions. Everybody's happy at the end of the day. Coming up at number two, The Big Short. Now, this movie is from 2015. Um, it's based on a book, The Big Short, inside the Doomsday Machine. It basically stars Christian Bale, who I love, Ryan Gosling, Brad Pitt, and Steve Carell. So funny. Anyway, so this is based on the true story of four outsiders who saw what the big banks, the media, and the government refused to do, which is basically something that was leading to the global collapse of the economy. Speaking of movies, in a thread by Sandra Ekweseli, she stated that Nollywood needs to include social engineering into their job description. Here is the tweet. It reads, and I quote, Nollywood, please start writing in scenes where people call 112 or 767. Social engineering is part of your job description. Let people call 112 when they see something odd. Let them dial when there's a robbery, when there's a fire, a dead body, like all these things, like just do it. And then, you know, um, she also continues to say, Chief Daddy had a scene where uh, the chief slumped, you know, and uh, patients and in chem were just crying and calling Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. They, instead of calling one, one, two. Think about that. Think about that for a minute, guys, and see how many movies you see where, oh, you know, I love your raw movies. So when the movies are going and somebody, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus will wake me up. Call one, one, two. Let or, or a doctor call. In fact, anyway, let's just go right back to into it. I want to tell you guys about the power of that 112. Make sure you call that number. And now we're back on our list. The number one movie that you as a tech, digital, or just general entrepreneur should be looking at is The Pursuit of Happiness all the way from 2006. Still very relevant today. Now, this is an autobiographical drama, which means it's based on somebody's real life story, right? And it's based on entrepreneur Chris Gardner, who was Will Smith's uh, nearly 10 year struggle of being homeless. Was it 10 years? No, one year. He was only homeless for one year. 10 year homelessness. Ah, that one has become costly. Anyway, so even though Chris eventually lands a job as an intern at a prestigious brokerage firm, he refused to give in to despair. And that's what this whole movie is about. It was him and his son. I think it was his real life son. Was it his real life son? No, it wasn't his real, wasn't his real life son. Oh my God, he was so little. Ah, oh, so cute. If you're not yet on MTM 4G, you want to be watching these movies? You want to be watching this show online? You want to stay online and just be having a very smooth experience? You better text 4G to 131 from your smartphone on your MTN SIM, and you can thank me later when you're experiencing, you know, speeds. Speeds, like you'll be flying. Okay, that's the show for me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Everything Digital TV. Also, check us out everywhere else. We're on radio, TV, IG, Twitter, Facebook. Where else are we? TikTok. Very soon, we'll be dancing. Okay, we're not on TikTok. I'm just lying. Okay, on the details, everything, everything will be in the description box below. And we'll be back with more digital finds for you. Now, don't forget, WhatsApp, we are on WhatsApp. I want you guys to follow us and join our WhatsApp page. Why? Because you can ask us questions directly. You can say, because people are Facebooking and Twittering me and they say, eh, eh Ma, please, that's your website. Please, what is it? I don't know if you WhatsApp me. I can just quickly look it up and quickly answer you. Eh, I'm not turning on, turning on, turning off, turning. Anyway, guys, make sure you follow us on WhatsApp. Just join in the conversation. We'll be sending you notifications when we're doing cool things online, when we're having events. All you have to do is be on our WhatsApp. That number is 0813-888-0585. And it's free. It's WhatsApp. And that's the show for me today. Until next time, it's bye from me, your girl, Faith History. Totals.